Hi there, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about Pokemon Go, GIS or Geographic Information Systems, and safety. Let's begin. Now, Pokemon Go has become very popular with tens of millions of users in its first month alone, which was July 2016, connecting users in the real world with a virtual world using their own smartphone. Behind the scenes, Pokemon Go is powered by location-based services, geographic information systems, and GPS, or Global Positioning Systems. Pokemon Go is built on Niantic's real-world gaming platform for augmented reality, allowing users to find and catch more than 100 species of Pokemon as they explore their own real-world surroundings. Players are represented on an augmented reality map of the real world. A user's smartphone vibrates when it, when it is near a Pokemon. When users encounter a Pokemon, they take aim on their smartphone's touchscreen and throw a Pokeball to catch it. Now, finding Pokemon has become much easier with the release of PokeVision, a Pokemon tr tracker and locator. It uses the Neontic API to grab the location of all Pokemon near you or your selected location and displays them on the map in real time. Now, this is intriguing to me as a GIS professional for several reasons. First, Pokemon uses map tiles and geocoding services from ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute. It is already the most popular map that uses ESRI technology, which makes sense because it is aimed at the general public rather than GIS professionals. Second, the game encourages users to explore the cities and towns where they live to capture uh, the Pokemons. As an outdoor education advocate, I'm very glad that people are using the game as an excuse to get outside and explore, become active. Pokey stops are located at places that I'm always encouraging people to visit, such as public art uh, inst installations, trails, historical markers and monuments, and so on. But I do want people to be safe and aware of their surroundings, whether they are using this game, any other game, their phone, or a GPS. Third, as we discuss frequently in the Spatial Reserves blog, and in our book associated with the blog, Pokemon Go is helping people think about the privacy and safety implications of location-based services, including games. For example, Chai Smith created a crowdsourcing story map for users to share safety tips. Now, as we discuss in this blog and in our book, location-based services are powerful, engaging, useful, and they need to be used with care. But like all of these technologies and the social forces surrounding them, on 1st of August, 2016, it was announced that the Pokemon Go developer shut down sites like PokeVision. Keep checking this blog and this video channel for updates. Thanks, and get out there and explore the world.